If you want to know how you can make your own every second you gain one walk speed game on Roblox, you're going to have to make sure you watch this video also to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make a every second you gain one walk speed game. There's this game on Roblox and it is called every second you gain one speed or walk speed whatever you want to call it. That's exactly what we're, what we're going to be recreating today and we're also going to be adding the zones so for example you need to have um, you know 300 seconds before you can go in another zone but of course I will be giving you a free a free conversion from seconds to minutes so it is really easy to add in and that's exactly what we're going to be recreating today the original game from my experience is actually inaccurate because when I joined the game I didn't even get a walk speed every second it, it took like three seconds for one walk speed and I thought I could make that better so that's exactly what I did and it's only like 70 lines of code it is a pretty small script for an insane game so if you're new to the channel and you like this video make sure to give it a like if you like it if you don't like it please drop a dislike on the video subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell become a member do anything you want that without further ado let's get right into this tutorial so as I said an every second game walk speed whatever it is pretty simple setup all you need is a folder in workspace so we're going to add in a folder with zones. Then we're going to add in a part. Not a particle emitter. A part. Like that. And what you want to do, you want to insert a surface GUI. And then a text label. As you can see now you got this gigantic text label. So go into the text label and go to size and then go to 1 by 0 by 1 by 0. And you'll probably see, you probably don't see a difference. But if you would make it bigger... That's when the difference comes in. As you can see, it, it just stays over there. As you can see, no matter how big it is, it will stay the same. Um, you know, it will still show the white. But that's not what we want. You want to go to the text label and set the background transparency to 1. And uh, I'm going to use Gotham. But I think they changed it. Yeah, they changed the font faces. I really don't like it. Uh, we need Gotham SSM. And then set it to bold. And then uh, remove the text and put on text scale. So if you would type like this, five minutes to unlock, you'll see this. So that's that, that's actually really good. So that is exactly what we need. So we're going to remove this. Oh, yeah, you can also do that. But let's disable rich text. Let's delete this. And then now you want to make sure um, you put in the amount of minutes you want. So for example, if a player has, uh, for example, been in the game for five minutes, they can go to the next area. So, this zone is going to be 5 because it needs to be 5 minutes. So I'm going to copy the zone and I am going to put one over here for 10 minutes all the way up to 20. So, I'm just going to do this and then over here, uh, oh, over here 20. And then at the other side of the 10, I'm going to do 15. There you go. So, now we've got 5, 10, 15, and 20 and that is exactly what we need. All you need now is a server script in server script service over here like that server oh i spelled that wrong server and then now all we have to do is code this and then we'll do a recap and then we'll test it and then you're good to go so let's go and code it right now
So that right there was all the coding for this tutorial and now we have entered the recap section. So what we're going to be doing, uh, or well I, I am going to explain uh, every line of code because why not. So over here we got the player service, we are waiting for it as you can see it returns to service with the requested class name, creating it if it does not exist. Basically that, it is really self explanatory. And yeah, over here we are creating two functions, we are creating a update speed and a player added. So update speed requires the humanoid and the seconds because every second we're gonna give you walk speed. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to set your walk speed to the amount of seconds you got because every second you get walk speed. Yeah. Over here we are creating leader stats, we are creating seconds and we are creating a loop and the loop is really important because when I uh, made this little script, I figured out that when you died, you would get uh, twice the amount of seconds because the game would still be in that loop. So what I did, I created a loop value. So it will only run if it's true. And if you die, we're going to set it to false. And if you died, we are going to remove the loop. Uh, as you can see, because if it's false, we're going to break it. And as you can see over here, when you die, we're setting it to false. Uh, and because it's uh, going to break the loop, that means when you respawn, it's going to do it again. So, like, it will run the mechanism again, and that means you will be good to go. And over here, as you can see, we are creating these two brackets. We are adding them so the script runs. And basically, a coroutine.wrap means it is a separate thing. So, if you would do another Walter do loop over here, sure, go ahead. As long as you don't yield this, because if you don't do this, you're going to be pretty, uh, oh, well, this at least. Yeah, just don't, don't put any loop in front of this, because then your game will break. And as you can see, we are updating the speed every second, and that is basically it for the seconds uh, handler. Then we got the zones, and when you load in the game, we are going to set every single zone to uh, amount of minutes needed to unlock. So, for example, if you have a zone with 100, it will say 100 minutes needed to unlock. And the cool thing about this uh, zone system is that uh, we already calculated some minutes. You don't need to calculate minutes to seconds because you could just put in the amount of minutes and then the game will do the rest. That is literally how simple it is. It is absolutely amazing. Over here, we are checking if you touched one of the zones, you are getting the player. Uh, because if, for example, a sheep touches it, we don't want the sheep to be able to break the game. So we are checking if it's an actual player and then we'll give it a player variable. Uh, the minutes is going to be two number v dot name because this is a number. So this also has to be a number because you cannot uh, concatenate a a, um, a number with a string that is not possible in roblox so what we're doing we're just going to do two number so this is a number and this is also a number easy over here we're checking for a debound so you cannot spam the system and then basically we are allowing you through and then after a second it will close again and if you don't ha if for example if you can walk through because it's done on the server if anybody who touches it can enter and then someone who doesn't you know because uh, the game client is going to set to false so anyone can walk through. But if you don't have the amount of minutes, we are killing you. Because you're not allowed in. Basically, then we are just attaching the functions. And that is basically it. So what we can do right now is we can test this out. So I am going to click play. Boom. So let's test this me uh, mechanic, mechanism, whatever. So let's load in the game. And as you can see... Oh, as you can see, I am walking really slowly. My internet is having some trouble. As, oh, there we go. as you can see, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and as you can see, every second, we are going faster. So, for example, if I would walk that way, you can see, slowly, we are going faster. As you can see, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and as you can see, uh, right now, we, don't, we are not allowed in the 5 minutes section. So, when I touch this, the loop will stop, because we are breaking the loop when you die, and you're going to die. So let's see that. Let's check that out. Three, two, one, boom. We died. The loop stops, and it's waiting for the game to regenerate. And as you can see, when you load in again, you are having your speed back. So let's try that again. And nope, you can't enter. Haha, <laughs> noob. I'm kidding. And then when you get back, as you can see, you are gonna have your speed back. And you're gonna get everything back, and that is really awesome. But you're probably wondering, newbie, you didn't even test the zones yet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give myself some speed. I'm going to give myself 285. Uh, why? Is th oh, I have to be quicker. That's it. That is a little bit too much. Okay, as you can see, uh, 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds. I know maths. And uh, as you can see, right now, we're still dying. 
So let's wait and let's wait another little bit of seconds. So let me just, let me just speed run new. Whoa, I'm actually really really fast. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, as you can see, 300 seconds, and as you can see, we can walk through. And there's one issue. Yep, I know. Uh, it is pretty obvious. So what you want to do now is just simply anchor workspace, and then you're good to go. So let me set myself to uh, let me just give myself 2,000 seconds. Uh, just so every zone is unlocked. So let's try that out right now. And as you can see, 15 minutes, we can walk through. Oh, yeah, that might happen because you're really, really fast, as you can see. And as you can see, if you just touch it, you can go through. And let's try them all out. So that one worked, this one worked, and this one. And as you can see, all of them work. So if I would set it back to, for example, let's say 120. As you can see, 120, and we are gonna die. Boom. And as you can see, we just died. So this is a really easy way to make an every second you get one walk speed game. If you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member. Join my Discord server because this is really epic, yes. Join my Discord server, we are Discord partnered. I got my partner hoodie, thank you all so much. And all I have to say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.